So after reading this question carefully, why don't we go ahead and try to draw a picture based on the description. So here we have the spotlight, we have the man walking towards the right, towards the building, and we have the building itself. What we need to do is label some additional information in the form of distances. We have let x be the distance from the spotlight to the man. The man was two meters tall, so that is labeled. We're letting y equal the distance or length of his shadow against the building. And then 12 was the distance stated from the spotlight all the way to the wall. We'll notice that we have two triangles in this picture. We've got this smaller triangle right here, and then we have the larger triangle outlined as follows. It might be helpful to redraw the larger triangle so that we can compare it to the smaller orange triangle here. And what we want to notice about these two triangles is that they are similar. The larger triangle is going to be similar to this smaller orange colored triangle. And so what we can do is set up a proportion between similar triangles. There are many ways to do it, but one way would be to say that y is to 12 as 2 is to x. So we can write that in the form of a proportion over here. Here it is, y is to 12 as 2 is to x. Why don't we go and cross multiply this equation? And it turns out that our next step is to differentiate this equation with respect to time. How do we know to differentiate with respect to time? Well, it's based on the question. Any question that asks how fast is something changing, that's a big clue that you're going to differentiate with respect to time. And in this case, we are going to have to use the product rule because we have the product of x and y. So here we have the product rule. We have the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. In our case, the first function is x and the second function is y. So let's apply the product rule. We have the first function x times the derivative of the second, which will be dy dt, plus the second function times the derivative of the first, which will be dx dt. On the other side of the equation, we have a constant whose derivative will equal zero. Since the question is asking how fast is the length of his shadow decreasing, and we know that the shadow is labeled by y, what we're really being asked to calculate is dy dt. That would represent the rate at which his shadow is changing. So we need to solve this equation for dy dt. We can do that by subtracting y dx dt from both sides of this equation. And then we could divide both sides of the equation by x. Now at this point, all we need to do is substitute in known values. Consider dx dt first. Looking over here, we see x was labeled as this distance. What we want is the rate at which that's changing. In other words, how fast is that increasing or how fast is that changing? Well, that was stated as 1.6 meters per second because the man, as he's walking along to the right, is basically causing this distance to grow. It's causing this distance to increase. So the speed of the man that they gave us is essentially dx dt, so we do know that. The question also states that the man is four meters from the building. So from here to here is going to be four meters, but the total length from the building to the spotlight was 12. That's going to make the x distance eight in this particular case. So we know that. And then finally, recall from this equation right here, x times y equals 24. If x is equal to eight, then the y is going to have to equal three, of course, because eight times three would satisfy the equation that we had derived earlier. So we have all three known values, we can plug them in now. The meters in the numerator will cancel with the meters in the denominator, so the unit that remains will be meters per second. And then when we do this on our calculator, perhaps we're gonna be left with, try to squeeze it in here, we're gonna have negative 0.6 meters per second as the final answer. That will be the rate at which his shadow is decreasing. Notice that the answer has a negative sign in it, which does indeed indicate that his shadow is shrinking as he walks towards the building.